Hello friends, this week's contemplative video is extending the discussion that we had last week on uh, making the difficult life choices uh, to become a rigorous self-aware contemplative and a mystic. And uh, this week's uh, life choices that we're going to discuss are uh, choices that uh, in, involve the family, the family system, uh, the family that we come from. Uh, some of us may come from a dysfunctional family system. Uh, I function under the premise that really all families are fairly dysfunctional uh, and to become a rigorous self-aware contemplative, we need to work on uh, uncovering the emotional baggage that we inherited from that dysfunctional family. And also to become a rigorous self-aware contemplative, we, we have to learn to separate ourselves from the entanglements of, the, of that dysfunctional family system. So uh, let's, um, to talk about myself and how I did that, uh, I took up uh, a daily meditation practice when I was 20. And by the time I was 21, I was reaping considerable rewards from that contemplative life. And uh, I had the insight that my family was dysfunctional, I understood that. And those family entanglements, I found, were not helping me as a rigorous self-aware contemplative. And so I chose, shortly after my 21st birthday, to consider myself a, an orphan uh, so that I uh, could separate myself from uh, that entanglement of the dysfunctional family. And... Uh, in the the almost four decades of uh, of um, separation from my family, uh, has I have not regretted it once. Um, I have had involvements with my family, and believe me, every uh, in you know involvement with my family pretty much always resulted in uh, some attempt on their part to involve me in their. Uh, emotional dysfunctions. And uh, so I feel that separating from my family was a very valuable thing. I believe it was at the foundation of the success I had as a contemplative. Uh, now there's consequences of separating yourself from your family. For instance, uh, uh, me separating from my family resulted in uh, me also separating myself from any financial or emotional s assistance from my family. And the consequence was, as I had no help whatsoever in uh, going to college uh, or purchasing a home or, um, uh, or even uh, when it came time for uh, an inheritance, I was completely cut out of the inheritance. So there was really no assistance coming from my family whatsoever. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they resented the distance that I created between them. I certainly didn't, uh, I wasn't offensive in my need to be distant from them. I just kept my silence and didn't reach out to connect with them. And occasionally they reached out and connected with me, and almost always that resulted in, in an unfortunate situation. So I, I was reinforced in my decision to keep my distance from my family. And the consequence is, is that I've traversed the eight stages of contemplation, or otherwise known as samadhi, and, and I've reaped numerous other uh, rewards of the contemplative life, and, and I have a very fulfilled and, and enriched life, but I'm also um, impoverished um, by my choices. But to me, name, fame, power, and wealth are completely empty when compared to the rich inner life I have in my, with my contemplative life. So thank you, friends. Uh, I hope that you are being rigorous, self-aware contemplatives, and uh, re and reaping the rewards thereof.